New at 10, the 62nd annual St. Patrick's Day Parade in Scranton today, along with other holiday staples in the city. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules spoke with some excited parade goers and tells us more. Before crowds began to gather on the parade route, many Scrantonians kicked off their St. Patrick's Day festivities with mass at the St. Peter's Cathedral. More than 100 people filled the pews as Bishop Joseph C. Bambera led Saturday's Mass. And after, many lined the streets of Scranton to see the parade that has become a staple of the city. Before it started, I caught up with Pennsylvania Senator Bob Casey, who says this parade in his hometown will always have a special place in his heart and the community. It's a great day for, I think, not just people of, of Irish descent and have a, a background in, in Ireland or a family background, but it's really for the whole region. People come together of all different, uh, all different um, ethnicities and, and perspectives to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, and it's a good day for the, the community. As the parade begins, lively pipe bands and groups travel through the city playing music and giving out goodies. Gabby Hennahan, there to enjoy the parade, says the candy is her favorite part. Because I got candy. What's your favorite kind of candy that you got today? Sour, sour Patch Kids. Despite the celebrations, it began to rain, at some points heavily, but the rainfall did not stop parade goers from enjoying the day. Here to see the fire trucks, like he said, uh, come down here, excited to see all the floats. Just the people that are around here. I love the hospitality. It's just real nice. Rain or shine, the Scranton St. Patrick's Day Parade seems to always bring back excited parade goers. Reporting from Scranton in Lackawanna County, I'm Alicia Hercules of Fox 56 News, first to 10. If you missed out on today's parade, the 44th annual Wilkes-Barre St. Patrick's Day Parade is tomorrow at 2 p.m.